Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to take a look at this small growing kit by Nilo. Okay, so Nilo sent this to me to review. You can get it on Amazon. Um, I got, it's on sale for 20 uh, I mean, yeah, I think it's, it, you can find it between 20 and 30 but I'll put a link in the description. So this is exactly how it comes shipped. I took the package, but it has like a clear cellophane uh, with the shipping label on it. So this is how it comes shipped. So let's take a look at it. So um, got the little user manual. So it looks like it does like a maybe a red and blue and a, like a yellow. Uh, five different dimming modes. And also has a built-in timer. Some notes there. Here's the light. It's got a little protective um, covering over it with some little standoffs. That's kind of cool. That's something you have to assemble. I think these are made out of wood. Take that out. So power adapter. I think these are like um, little non-skid things you put on the bottom. And got no idea what um, those are for actually. But. All right, so I think these are the side pieces. That's a relatively small system. Yeah, these are the little vertical supports. All right, so no idea what these are for. Maybe you could like put your plants in them. I don't know. So, uh, yeah, let me put this together real quick. So, yes, how that looks. It's, like I say, it's very small. I'm going to do some tests on it. So I'll do a power test and a PPFD reading. All right, so let's plug this up. That just turns it on and off. Okay, let's see. Maybe it's this button. There we go. So it looks like it's got, um, I don't know if that's the full spectrum. It mostly looks like a kind of a white light. This is a pink and yellow. Okay, yeah, so it's got different power levels. I think that's the lowest. You can see that. So that's going up a little. No, that's the, um, sorry, that's the color mode. So on the, um, if it goes up, 1.3, 1.4, 1.5. Two point one, two point four, well, two point six, three. That's around three point four, three point five, four, four point five. So it looks like four point five is the top wattage power draw. And we switch the color. That's interesting. On the um, on the white, it goes up to almost nine on the power draw, right at, at nine. The pink pulls um, four point six, four point four. Yellow pulls four point, yeah, four and a half basically. But the white pulls uh, looks like about right at twice the power draw. So for growing, you want to use that, probably that white. But you could also dim it down too. That's kind of neat, but um, 
And this, like normally when I do like power tests, um, I'll let it stay plugged in for at least 30 minutes, but it's probably not going to be a whole lot off from that. So let me do a quick reading with the, um, actually let me test one thing real quick. So from the very bottom where the light is, it's like four and three quarters of an inch high. So you don't have a lot of space. So it's real limited um, as far as what you could grow with it. I think it's more of like kind of a gifty kind of thing um, or a decorative. You could put it on a shelf, put some little succulents in here. I think it might be good for like very small, like just sprouted seedlings. Um, you may have to turn the light down since that's pretty close. It'd be pretty close to it. Really, the, I, I, I'm going to do a PPF test to see but another use for this I think would be pretty cool would be to um, maybe like microgreens if you had like a, a small tray that would fit down in here and then like maybe leave the light off until they start to to sprout and then turn it on low and um, that'd be a great little microgreens uh, grow light got a little bit of I mean it's pretty sturdy you could probably as long as it's not something that would leak um, you might could set something on top here too. It easily fit on a bookshelf. Yeah, for like practical purposes though, um, I probably wouldn't use it for like, you know, my main stuff, but um, I would, pr I probably would take it to my office and I've actually got some small succulents and really tiny. I actually gotta grab them real quick, but they would probably be great. Let me get those. I've been meaning to put them in something bigger, but you can see how, how they look. And these are really, really small. So yeah, that's pretty cool. I mean, yeah, it, it looks, I mean, it'd be perfect for uh, these kind of things. Like basically if you're doing it more for like an aesthetic thing, you know, these would be getting plenty of light and it, it looks nice. But let me take these out and do some PPF readings. I'm using the uh, MQ500 quantum sensor from Apogee Instruments. And the, the sensor from the, the base and everything, it's about one and a half inches. So that's uh, three and a quarter inches from the light to the top of the sensor. So at full power on the white, it's you know, 200. Well, the center, it's 285. See in the corners, it drops down in the 150s. Uh, center there, it's like a little closer to 200, 245. So it gets the most intense right in the center there, 285. So that's the most it's going to do. So for something that was coming up at about that height, that would be, you know, fine for um, sprouts. You might get dim it down to the next one lower to be on the safe side. But, but when you, if you have it, depending on what you're, how deep your container is if it's something flat like microgreen it's i can't measure it because unless i took that bottom piece out i guess i could but the um so that's going to be a lot lower than that anyway so you come up you know within about an inch or so looking around 700 so yep so that's pretty i can do the other color test just in case you're wondering uh, so there's the pink and this should be a lot less. So yeah, this that's at the most it's around 120 corners. It's like under a hundred. So, and I imagine the yellow is going to be the same because it's pulling about the same power. Yeah. This might be a little more than the pink. I don't know, it's about the same as the pink. The white uh, one, it has the most, so if you're growing stuff, I mean, I guess it depends on what you're growing to. Um, but anyway, that's, that's I guess that, that's useful information because uh, they didn't have anything published. Like most of your um, real grow lights will publish the uh, data or at least, you know, power draw and a lot of times like PPF maps. But this, this is really sold more like as a gift item, uh, I think, and, and it's like a decorative thing. So I'll show you. I guess you can, uh, camera's not really picking up the light. Maybe it's, 
yeah. Camera's not picking up the, the color of the light very well. But it's a mix of yellow, red, blue, looks like, to make the white. All right, so that's the Nilo um, little growing kit. So I'll probably, I'll probably take this to my office. I might, I don't know, I might keep it here. But uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of neat for what it is. It's just, it's, it's real limited for as far as like practical uses. Uh, I do think it'd be great, a little microgreens grower. You just need a little tray or something that would fit this. But uh, that wouldn't be hard to find. And also, I mean, you could take this out, you know, mount the light some other way if you want to be creative. Uh, you wouldn't have the, you know, look and feel of this uh, enclosed piece, but, but that'd be an option too. So anyway, yeah, so thank you, Nilo, for sending this to me to review. I'll put a link in the description uh, where you can get this. Uh, so I'm going to wrap this up, but I uh, hope you like that. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.